Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, I have a couple things that I have to say in the first part of this video. But don't click off just yet because Jaden's going to get into his Disney Monday outfit, which a lot of people may not know that Disney Monday originated from Crystal. Um, I think it was KSL was her nursery name. But um, she doesn't do YouTube as much anymore, but she's still kind of around in the community. But she started Disney Monday um, because she was a Mickey fan. And mostly all her babies had Mickey, Minnie, and all that great stuff. Um, and I was Sesame Street. And um, so anyway, but first thing first is go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to make sure you're a part of the notification squad make sure you select that you want all notifications that way you don't miss any um, community posts on the community tab you don't miss any when i'm going ready to go live sometimes i post it on the community tab as well um and also Guys, if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, you can join. It is $1.99 to join. That's a month. And the link is in the description bar or you can go to About Me tab. Also, guys, like I said, it's not required, but I like to let you guys know because some of you guys may not be aware, not only for just my channel, but other channels that you may love and enjoy on YouTube. Um, check out the super thanks button. It's a heart and you can actually donate leave a tip whatever for your content creator that you may have really really enjoy the video type thing. Um, it also highlights your comment and this is a great way of kind of bringing attention to yourself as well. It's kind of selfish but I guess honey um, we do what we do. Um, so yeah, it can you can it'll highlight your comment and make your comment stand out as well. So there's that, and so I'm gonna move right along to getting Jaden dressed. Hopefully he can fit this little outfit. I bought this I think when I was did I buy this when I was out with Pooh Bear? Maybe maybe not. No, I bought this from Marshalls. Uh, I do a lot of shopping at Marshalls because. You can get a variety of brands. I'm looking for my scissors if I sound far away. Okay, here's some. Um, I, I do a lot of shopping at Marshalls because you can get a lot of brands for um, reasonable prices. So I really, really enjoy shopping there for my babies. The only thing now, um, and you guys let me know where you guys have been finding the most of your small baby clothes, like newborn size like the really newborn size Jaden is a bigger baby um he's not a freshly born newborn size so he can sometimes fit into other sizes but I'm finding now in most stores this is what he's gonna wear in most stores I cannot find like newborn they all start out at like zero to three months um newborn up to seven pounds up to five pounds all those type clothes if you know different stores and places where I can find more of that stuff please let me know um because I not only shop for myself I have to shop for my box openings I know H&M is one of the places that I find the smaller baby clothes um baby gap have like two pieces two outfits three outfits and they've had that for months and those outfits has not changed and I'm just like uh, I'm not gonna keep buying the same outfit people come on get it together um everybody don't have giants <laughs> so yeah so i'm really 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 desperately wanting to know where where the small clothes at and why why are they fading away newborn size clothes like do they not think that babies are born small anymore or you know i don't know what the story is about that but anyway, also, if you're new, Jaden is um, full body silicone, meaning he does not have cloth body. Okay, I need to move my light over, but I can move Elijah over. Oh, Sometimes I just don't be completely organized. Just so you guys know, when I'm doing these recordings, a lot of times, like right now, it's five something in the morning. So <clears throat> if you expect me to be completely 
organized and on task at five o'clock in the morning bless your soul because um it ain't happening most of the time i do my very best oh i like that diaper i'm not gonna change this diaper i was gonna change this diaper into this but i prefer this one so cute um i actually have the diaper stacker that was still downstairs from when my grandbaby was here with his mom when she first had him and i totally forgot we had newborn size huggy diapers in that stacker for her and when she left she left the diapers and of course he's way past newborn size diapers now so i'm like ah oh. so i brought him upstairs to this crib and um so that i can use it for my babies sometimes so sometimes i okay do not force or push your clothes <laughs> scrub your babies or rub your babies um i looked kind of forceful just then if you notice, I did not touch his face when I pulled that over his head. Um, sorry if I keep saying that. There, there are a lot of things you want to try to avoid when you're dealing with your babies. I believe in enjoying my babies, but I also believe in, in preserving them and taking care of them. And I also believe or know that they are works of art and that they are expensive. So... I can have that, uh, you know, bad, let me see, how do I want to put it? I can have the, the attitude of this, my money, I do what I want, I'm going to play with my babies how I want, et cetera, et cetera, da, 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 all I want. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be nobody fool and mess up my money. But some people got money to burn and so they can afford to do that. And it doesn't even affect them one way or another. So, but I, I am not one of those. <laughs> um, every dollar count for me, you know, $100 is a lot of money. $200 is a lot of money. So you can imagine, you know, spending $2,000 on a kit and I can like, it's nothing. Um. I do root my baby's eyebrows most of the time now. Sometimes I'll do a painting, a little bit of painting under, and they'll have combo. But mostly, I do root their eyebrows. Um, I used to seal them down. I don't do that as much because I don't necessarily always love it um, after the matting part. So I've, I am trying to perfect my way of rooting them so that they are rooted almost exactly like a baby eyebrows would grow in or our eyebrows would grow in but it's not a hundred percent but it's I, I like it this way better look at you and your Mickey 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 Mouse also guys my um my prototype cuddle baby is coming along I think because I keep saying the baby looks Asian to me she's every the more color she gets the more I think she's starting to look even more Asian to me, and um, which is which is a cute thing. Um, I just wish I could really, really do the Asian skin tone. So I think people that paint in those skin tones would really do a great job with that kit. I would love to see it that way. Um, my baby's gonna probably be Blasian, <laughs> little black, little Asian. Um, looking, I don't know. We'll see how the end result come, but I'm hoping to get to that end. Um, by the end of this week and start showing you guys some pictures um, and so you guys can see what's going on uh, I will be rooting her and she will be going up available for sale um, she will have a cute little box opening some nice little trinkets um, but I won't be able to set her price and stuff until after I see her painted and at least get started on her rooting. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna sell her though. Um, definitely not auction. I don't. I don't like auction. Um, I don't like to do it. I don't like. I don't see. You know, it's up to artists that want to do it, and that's fine. I'll have nothing against it. I don't feel like I'm popular enough to be doing no auction. First of all, because a lot of people don't understand that um, to auction something off and for it to be successful. There has to be a high demand for your babies. And that's why a lot of people do it. Because 
Okay, he's bald. I know it's warm in Florida, but, <laughs> you know, when you ain't got no edges and the air is on, that, you know, your scalp be cold. I know some of y'all can relate, but, so he's going to have on a hat. Don't judge him. Uh, one day I'll get him rooted. That's the thing um, when you're working on babies for everybody else, you really don't get to finish your own babies as much. Hold on, I'm gonna get him some more light in here so you guys can see him better. Ta da ta ta ta! I'm loving it. He got his bib. I think I'm gonna put his bib on. Although I kind of didn't want to cover up his, uh, so that's his, let me put this light over here. There we go. Get us some light. Um, I kind of didn't want to cover up his, uh, little Mickey, but I think I am going to put his bib on. See, I can get a bottle in a little bit. This is his bib. So like this bib really... I guess you can kind of scrunch it up like that. But I'm not going to put it on right now because I don't want to cover up his little Mickey. So, yeah. Um, and so, in my group, Miss Renny Smith Chat Doll and Chat Club, I am going to uh, take his picture and I will put his pictures in there because we're doing Disney Monday every Monday in there as well. Um, so, if you're wanted to jo follow me on th in that group I am it's back up and running and uh, I just need you to answer the three questions I think it's are you a dog collector um, do you agree to follow the rules which is no selling in there um, I am going to uh, eventually start where I do a sales post for serenity babies only so if you bought a baby directly from me um, you have one of my dolls and you are trying to rehome it, I will probably start doing a post in there for that uh, so that people can, um, if they're looking to rehome their babies, they can get their baby sold. And also if people are looking for one of my dolls, they can get it from there um, as well. I, I think that's it. I, I'm trying not to add too many things on my plate um at one time but of course i always have a lot going on so i have um a couple prototypes pending and i have um a couple babies that you guys have not seen actually too that i am going to paint but i'll show them after they're done after i decide what i want to do with them um and then um what else as I get them finished, I promise to share here, everywhere, um, so that you guys can see and who I have available and who not. A lot of people ask me, like, where do you sell your babies? I don't sell enough to really have a full-blown website, which I, I have my blog, and I, I kind of don't even think that I should be even having that. It's costing me like a hundred something dollars a year to have that blog, but I, I'm holding it one more year just to see in case I just ever get it designed the way I want it and up and running the way that I want it but I don't really have like a website because I don't sell like enough babies really I don't feel to really do that I just sell between you know Facebook well my paid channel membership I always post it in there but I sell on Facebook and Instagram well that's where I post um, I prefer a lot of people message me through messenger it allows me to kind of know who this person is, if they're a reputable buyer, you know, that kind of stuff. Because, there, of course, we do have to protect ourselves from a lot of scamming that goes on in the community. So it, it allows me to do that way. I also have my email, which is Smith at yahoo.com. Um, you can email me there. And, you know, the thing is, it's like a lot. Sometimes people want to email me just to chat. I love to chat with people. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Because my schedule is very busy. I have uh Facebook my regular page my Facebook group I have Instagram I have YouTube and my YouTube paid membership and my blog I have six different places and a lot of them is um 
generating messages and stuff. One other thing before I end this video, I want to also mention the there's a group that I had started, well, page I had started on Facebook. I've been trying to delete that page. Facebook will not allow me to delete that page. I don't know why, but it just every time I try to delete it, it just still exists. And if you're sending me messages there, a lot of times I do not get those messages. Um, I don't want that, that page because, for one, there's not a lot of traffic that generates there. Two, um, I, don't, I don't feel like trying to build that up again. And I don't know. I just It's just another place that I would have to post and I just don't have the time or the energy to do that. So, um, yeah. So, you know, just keep in mind, don't write me off and say that I'm ignoring people. I don't respond or anything like that because you have to consider that I do have comments on YouTube that I have to respond to. I have, I try to do videos daily or every other day or something like that. I'm painting, I'm uh, working, I'm a full-time mother, grandmother. I have a whole slew of things that I try to maintain so if you be a little patient with me I try if you're not following me on Instagram and you send me a message and it goes to that message request thing because you're not following me I'm not as eager to get to that inbox I'll be honest because you're not eager to follow me so I'm responding to those that at least are following me and supporting me publicly that actually helps me um versus people that just want to backdoor me if that makes sense so um that's that I understand on Facebook I try to get to my messenger request box because the fact that if I'm at a max of 5,000 uh uh friends it won't allow me to do more than that so I understand not being able to follow me on Facebook type thing so Anyway, that's just that. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm going to move on and that's it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.